Oh no, the pretty music's gone and my stupid voice is here. Ah, fuck. I just remembered that, uh, <clears throat> the part that we're at really sucks. Why would you like my voice even more? My voice is garbage. <laughs> God, I hate this loading time. I think the entire uh, area is loaded in at once. There's like no actual loading screens. And that's why it takes so long. But I'm not the biggest fan. Oh, yeah, right. And the textures suck. Oh. Okay. Doubt.jpg. Also, I've been playing like Assassin's Creed Rogue the whole time, the whole day. So I literally was just about to try and run and jump up on the side of that building. That wouldn't have worked. You can't. This this dude this dude is not athletically inclined. He would. I don't think he would. Let's see how long it takes me to get eaten by the, the monster. I'll try going this way this time. <laughs> You'll time it? Alright. Let me know. I want to move faster because shit. What is even the point of being able to like crouch and sneak if it just doesn't fucking work? Let's go back to the mines. It was fun there. I disagree. It's still coming! Oh god, 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 oh god. No, 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 no. I don't like it. No. Oh my god, go away. Did I just run the whole gamut? Oh my- Are you fucking kidding me? I went all the way back. I swear, I was going sh like straight ahead the whole time. How did I come back? Oh my god, just kill me. I honestly- I don't know what to do here. This game is a little bit obtuse.
Is this where I need to be? I hope so. Yay, a save! I don't have to go through there again. page. We've begun a new expedition and this time we have ventured further. According to our theories we expect to arrive in a copy of our world but it was not so. Although it was very similar to ours this world has significant differences. As we imagined there are human beings but they are not like us. They call the planet Earth and they seem unaware of the existence of the great ancient. A shocking revelation. The technologies are similar to ours as shown by the objects we have found. In our next expedition, we plan to capture an individual in order to examine him, but it will not be easy. If we are discovered, the entire operation will be compromised. Oh, hey, that's me. Huh. I was hoping I could actually go into a building. I guess not. I keep seeing stuff and wanting to Assassin's Creed it, but this isn't Assassin's Creed. Hey, what do you want to bet that I'm gonna get run over by a train? Oh, there's a key. Oh. Of course the gate's locked. And anyway, as I was saying, who wants to bet I'm gonna get, like, run over by the train? Okay. I guess I've got to explore here and hope I find a key. Have fun with dishes. There's no reason to come back this way. Okay, I guess the key isn't... I still need to clean my computer monitor. Very dirty. Okay. Think. I can't open the door and I can't open the gate. So what do I do? Sides have hiccups and oh maybe I can what he jumps like the second I get on top that is so odd a journal entry swamp. These beings, they really have opened a portal on on the earth, and I crossed it. The strange, peculiar-looking person I saw must have been an inhabitant from this world. These beings worship an evil god that punished them for not respecting his will. I can barely believe this is real, but I've seen it with my own eyes. Well, what has it got to do with me? Were they waiting for me? Were they trying to abduct me, analyze me? I need to find this machine and try to open the portal, and I'll need to leave this place quickly. People need to know about this. It will change the world forever. I'm gonna get run over by a train. I'm gonna get run over by a train. Cause that's what always happens. I fucking called it! I'm gonna get run over and die.
Holy shit. That was close. I can't believe... I figured that, like, basically everyone was dead. I can't believe there's still shit going on where people are using the train. That's not ominous in the slightest. It's closed. Oop. What was that? Is there anyone in there? It's locked. We need to find what caused that sound that has to be way into the tower. I mean, why would you want to? Examine. There. The window's up there, but maybe we can find a way to reach it. So the, this will reactivate the power of the entire station with the levers missing. Door? Nope. I probably need to find a ladder of some sort. Because this guy uh, doesn't know how to climb worth shit. Now usually, when it's puzzle solvey time, that means the monster doesn't show up. Picked up a bot. Oh, that'll probably help me, uh, jump. I mean, uh, I managed to not get run over by a train. I managed to escape the laboratory where I was held captive, but where am I? I don't recognize this place. Those creatures were awful. They look sort of human, but not. Their strange leathery skin, their weird soulless eyes, they're terrifying. I saw them performing horrible rituals for a monstrous god. They seemed deeply afraid of him. Some of them were bigger than the others and seemed to have more authority. And those statues of the monsters with tentacles? There are some of them at the graveyard, too. I'm gonna cut the power in this old station and look for a place in the darkness where I can hide. I can't let them find me. Well, you're probably dead. Like... If we actually find a living person, I will be so shocked. But I really doubt it. Ladder. Like, why can't I just pick up the ladder? <laughs> I think I'm moving really slowly because I'm carrying the box. Like, I'm moving real slowly. Like, this is me holding the shift button. I can jump alright, though, which is... I don't think I can do the powers out. Yeah, okay, I guess I'll figure that out later. I wonder if this opens. Nope. And open shit. I need another two of them. Why? You could totally just grab the ledge. God, this guy's useless. Oh. Box. Can I pick up the other one at the same time? No. Oh. 
You know, the plus side to not having a mic that's on my face anymore uh, is that if I go and, like, scratch at my face, because it's itchy, uh, can't hear it because I'm not, like, hitting the mic. Uh, need another box. Where find box? Theta, where find box? Okay, maybe... Box! Oh, there's another... Oh yeah, I just remember, there's tracks going a different way. Ah! Fuck's sake! He's dead. Yeah, no fucking shit. This person seems human. If he's here, that means I'm not the only one. But how many others are there? I don't want to go up. That's where the spooky shit is. Have I had my light on this whole time? They found me. Someone is trying to get in. I can't get them get to me again. Not after what I've seen. Oh, so basically, this guy thought I was one of the... Hey, Zango. The guy thought I was one of, like, the cultists or whatever and killed himself. Like, man, if only this dude was able to speak and could be like... Nah, dude. It's okay. I don't know what that did. Somehow, there being a light just makes it creepier. The sparks looks dangerous. I hope nothing catches fire. It probably means something's gonna catch fire. It's secured with a chain. This game is already giving me anxiety. <laughs> yeah, um... It gets a little bit less scary when you realize you can easily outrun the monster. And when you realize, like I have, that the monster is never around when you have to solve a puzzle. See, so like, if you have to solve a puzzle, uh... He won't be there fucking you up. There are times, however, where the game pulls a cheeky little jump scare. Like the time where I got into that tower up there and a dude went, Aah! and fell to his death. Or more accurately, jumped to his death because he thought I was an evil cultist. Maybe there's something in here? Nope. 
Did this only exist for that collect, like that little, this thing here? Like, is this the only reason this place exists? Maybe I have to go back and go down the other route? Alternatively, I have to find... Somebody should make a game like this where nothing happens. You just solve puzzles and that's it. I... I wouldn't be surprised if a game like that does exist. Uh, I couldn't tell you... Yeah, I feel like there is some- they, I, there must be where you think, Oh, there's a spooky monster gonna come fuck me up. But it never does. I haven't heard of that game. Do you remember what it's called? want to use the hint system, but I don't know what to do. Like, I figured, you know, you turn the power on and then you go back. Like, you go through that gate, but... through another tunnel. I'm probably gonna die again. I'm not gonna repeat that experience again. I'm not going in there. Okay. Well, I'm out of ideas.
This poor guy killed himself, thinking I was one of the others. He must have been so scared. Oh, God. Okay, I guess hint time. Oh, nothing... Sh I pressed the hint button and nothing showed up. Fucking amazing. Okay. What to do? I probably need a bolt cutter of some kind. Oh! I had to press a button. Okay. Sure. Okay, shears, sure. Visible walls. <gasps> Fuck's sake! What the hell happened? How did I survive? Magic. The water must have shorted the system. That explosion must have attracted some attention. I should get going quickly. Well, I just heard things being terrifying. It's borrowed. The building has been disused for a long time. What are we? Is that? There's supposed to be water here. Anyways, journal! The station. How many others are there? I know I'm not the only one who ended up here. I found a man who was captured, cut open, tortured. He managed to escape, but I was too late. The poor guy had killed himself by jumping from the tower. I read his notes. They revealed to me the real nature of this world's inhabitants. Monstrous, violent, worshipping evil deities and making awful sacrifices to them. I need to be careful if I don't want to be found by one of them or worse by their god. He has eyes everywhere. I have no choice. I have no chance against him. You know, this game is a lot longer than I was expecting it to be. At full price, it's only like 11 bucks. I got it for like half off, so it's like five something, but I was expecting it to be over by now. More spooky things! I wonder what direction I'm supposed to go. I didn't go this way because I'm an idiot. It seems to become kind of ancient temple where sacrifices are being made. I don't know, it seems to be like two lovers. Just hanging out. Don't worry about it too much, Zango. It's locked, but I can easily climb the fence. I don't want to. I'm gonna go this way. Hey guys, place your bets as to uh, whether or not the monster's gonna show up when I go into this tunnel. Oh, it just ends.
I don't want to go in there. This seems like it's just going to be a real bad time for me. Of course the gate's locked. Why the fuck wouldn't it be? We have at last decoded the ancient book. Our discovery is quite upsetting. Thousands of years ago, before he settled in our world, our powerful god, the great ancient, lived hidden in the oceans of Earth. When our ancestors discovered the machine and opened this portal to Earth, he transitioned into our world and was quickly worshipped. The great ancient ordered the machine. The great ancient ordered the machine to be destroyed to prevent our people from ever meeting the humans of Earth. But we did not obey. Only the surface structures of the machine were destroyed. The ones he could see. But the underground structures remained intact, together with the machine itself. In that moment, our Order of the Trojan Wounds is born. A small group of people called to protect this great secret, the only persons with access to the secret places deep underground. The purpose of the machine was lost to the ages. I feel like they're adding... What was that strange noise? The door is boarded up. Maybe we can find a way to remove them. Why? It's like, it sounds like something angry. Like, maybe we should just leave it? There's an awful smell in the air. These coffins have obviously been unearthed. Okay, so to remove, I would need like a wrench or something. Where would I find a wrench? It's locked. Okay, I don't want to be discovered. What are those voices coming from inside? Sounds like people making a ritual. Let's see how long it takes for the spooky thing to show up again. I heard something make a terrible noise. No one has dared interfere with the Chosen Ones, but if I pay attention, I might be able to discover their secrets. They've always had access to forbidden knowledge. That's what allows them to exercise their power. I've been spying on them for a long time. They're very careful in avoiding detection, but I think one of their secret meeting places is in the basement of a nearby house. I've often seen them going there and staying for hours. There seems to be some sort of secret mechanism to open the door. I think it's connected to the well somehow. I've seen them lowering a bucket full of stones into it. I've seen one of them hiding keys between the rocks and the wall near the house as well. Tonight, I'm going to discover more. Right. Something about a web. Uh, 
I was expecting to, to do something with that door, but okay. Locked. Nothing useful here. I don't want to jump in there, though. Okay, that's probably where I'm going to have to go. Yeah, I would, I would expect that there'd be something here to open up the boarded up house, but I can't find anything. There's no reason to come back this way. Alright. Hoping it would tell me about this thing he Okay, I'm gonna give up on trying to find something to pry open that door. It's either something that'll become apparent later, uh, or it's just something that's like a, a secret thing and you have to like work a little bit harder for it. And if that's the case, I don't care enough. Uh, 
Oh, can I not? And or. Yeah, like, but I can't. The only thing I can do is I click on the well and it says, the, the, this is the well the note mentioned, maybe it connects the cellar to the house. And like, I can't, I can't go in there and I can't interact with it in any way. And none of these other doors open. a wall. can't leave. I need to find out more about this place. Fuck. Then what do I do, my guy? I can't go into the well. And I haven't been able to find anything else I can interact with. Wait, what? What? That is not how I scanned that note at all. Let me read it again. Yeah, the way I read this, because he said, I've seen them lowering a bucket full of stones into it. I've seen one of them hid hiding keys between the rocks. I took that as the rocks as in, like, the stones that they put in the well. Not they hid it behind the wall. That's so dumb. I don't get so many of these locked doors. Like, this didn't need to be here, because as far as I know, this will never open. <laughs> hey, this place looks almost normal. It seems that an encounter between our species and that of the Earth would be dangerous for the great ancient. If we could understand the reason, we may have found the way to get rid of him. This was our ancestor's hope, and it is why the machine was left intact. However, we cannot risk him discovering what this building hides, otherwise the machine would be in great danger. In an attempt to understand the great, one, the great ancient's desire not to allow our species to meet, we have begun to examine the specimen captured during our last expedition. Physically, it is very similar to us, though its skin and eyes appear to have a different makeup. Blood analysis revealed that its composition is similar to ours, though its elements exist in different concentrations. The individual appears to understand our language, however, the specimen escaped before we were able to question it. The water looks filthy and smells terrible. It's a collection of esoteric books, judging by the titles they seem to be ancient gods, dark rituals, and monstrous creatures. What's up, Cthulhu?
Um, I don't like that. Oh. I can feel the sound of weird energy emanating from this object. I feel strangely drawn to it. There's some sort of mechanism at the base looks like it's missing a gear. Failing to heed the warnings of the great ancient was a huge mistake, but now it's too late. A terrible being has appeared in our village. It is hiding in the woods and it is killing us all. We have tried to shoot it, but conventional weapons have proven useless. We are bringing back as many specimens from Earth as we can as we seek the missing piece. We vivisected them and used advanced interrogation techniques as we believe them to be in possession of information that they did not intend to volunteer to us. These techniques worked. One specimen knew who the great ancient was and confirmed to us that he did indeed leave on Earth, live on Earth thousands of years ago. But astonished us with the specimen revelation that, at the time, our god united with members of their human race, birthing a new ancestral line that turned against him. This is the information we've been searching for. We must find a descendant of that line. And let me guess, it's gonna be me! The secret place. According to what the Chosen was discovered by decoding the book, the great ancient used to live on the earth. There, he was worshipped by ancient civilizations when he united with and birthed humans with his blood in their veins. However, thanks to the new power they inherited, they revolted and exiled him to the depths of the ocean. When the creature of this world opened a portal to the earth, the great ancient escaped and regained his power in, <sighs> in this other world. Just the thought of that monster living on earth and what it's done to humanity makes my blood run cold. Can I have another nap? No, that was just a one-time thing. The latch is rusted shut. Ah. Actually, I wonder, maybe, uh... The trunk? Nope. Okay, so I guess it's this. Oh, that's probably what they put into the well. It really is amazing that I managed to not end up running into anyone this whole time. Alright guys, I can't move the mouse at all, so let's get ready for a jump scare. Oh. Okay, so there's probably a pressure plate, yeah, there's a pressure plate down there. Carpenter's hammer. This could be very useful. That was it. Hmm, there's no pressure in these pipes. What a good... What, what, like, an, a, a total non-waste of time that was. No good, the hammer won't break the latch, I need something else. Oh, 
thought I saw something for a minute there. Just this for the sweat. Maybe I have to use this on um, that door way back. Or maybe on this trunk. Nope. Sounds like that, like, throat singing thing. What is it, Tibetan throat singing? That voice, it was, it was possessing my mind. I removed the bars, cause you're an idiot. Shovel, lubricating grease. The, there's someone alive in that coffin. I don't want to open it. It could be a trap. What a dick! <laughs> Imagine, uh, it could, it could be a trap. I don't want. There's a dude stuck in a coffin, my guy. All right, guys. Q scary monster. Basically, I bet I better leave that guy. Uh. What? What? What just happened? Oh, I guess it, like, it jerked and took the camera control away from me. I guess to look at the blood. I found the car keys. Since the dawn of time, our order of the chosen ones has kept secret the means of communication with the depths where the great ancient resides. To preserve the sacred secret, it is essential that these rules are followed. Our children shall not be allowed to access to public education, but instead will be required to follow a specific education that will teach them the secrets of the dark universe. On their 18th birthday, our children must take part in the sacred initiation ritual, and should they survive, they will receive the personal medallion that they shall use to access the secret sites. The medallion is very important and must not be lost for any reason. Upon the death of a chosen one, the passing ritual will be celebrated in his honor. His medallion will be placed in the coffin with his body so that the deceased can use it to open the underground world. On the gravestone, there will be the great ancient's picture in order that he watch over the deceased during the journey to the depths. Okay. I am not a fan of the scaring noises. So if they could cease, that would be appreciated. I 
I feel like he's gonna end up sleeping again. Oh dear. He, he's been mutilated. Was he following me? What was he doing here? gonna get slurped at. Yeah, I guess. A gear. Oh, I have to go grave digging. I have to go fucking grave digging, guys. What's the gear for, though? Okay, so I need ones that has his a picture of him on it. God, this guy's such an asshole. Like, first he wouldn't let someone out of his coffin, and now he's grave digging. Okay. Now, what? Maybe I need it for that wibbly woo thing. Okay, guys, are you ready for the spooky monster? Because I bet he's going to come out now. You know, I'm really, really disappointed in you, uh, scary monster. You're really not pulling your, your weight here. You'll probably show up after this. Oh, hey. Cool. H. The pneumatic system is operated by a set of four valves, one of which acts as a spare in case of emergency. In order to operate the system, the correct pressure must be established in the system supply pipes. It is essential not to introduce more pressure than necessary to avoid serious damage to the system and possible explosion. The system has been calibrated to reach the correct pressure in the following way. 
They're all medium. Oh, medium, minimum, medium. In the event that one of the three supplies pipes is damaged, the fourth pipe may be used as a replacement. As it is smaller, however, it is necessary to take into consideration its lower capacity. But I guess it would have to be minimum then. So we got med medium, minimum, medium. So one of the mediums would probably have to be minimum. Is this the first valve? Or did, it, did that just turn the valves on? Just the door. I think that's it. Or maybe not. Oh. Oh, it has a less- lower capacity you have to make it- okay. I get it now. Look guys, more caves! Oh, it's closing behind me! Excellent. Damn, the door closed. I can't go back. I'll need to find another way. Well, of course. That's why you should always stick something in the way of a door so if it, it can't properly close. Oh, this... I don't like this. This looks no bueno. Wow, this skull is huge. What on earth did this belong to? We have found a descendant of the ancient astral ancestral line and everything is in place to capture him. The machine has already started, but the opening of the portal will take some time. Some of us are already going to the cage to reach Earth and capture the Descendant. I will join them soon. The underground tunnel that leads to the platform is not safe, so instead I will walk through the woods. If we are lucky, the Descendant may spontaneously enter the portal, and when we arrive at the side of the monolith, we may find him in the cage waiting for us. There are a few of us left now. I just hope that at least one of us can reach him. Oh, yawning. Can it be true that I am one of the descendants of this awful god, my body infused with its blood? Did those creatures want to capture me to drain my blood and use it against their god in some sort of diabolic ritual? I can't believe this. It can't be true. Please don't let it be true. I need to try to open the portal, but the passage is closed behind me, blocking the way. I came. I'll have to travel through the tunnels. I really hope there's nothing lurking in there. Who knows what else is hiding in the darkness of this damn place. I can't wait to have this- I can't wait to leave this land of pain! Title, guys! But I wouldn't give to see Dad's old cabin again. Well, then maybe you shouldn't have touched the fucking thing then. Finally, here it is. This is the machine they were talking about. It needs to start it to open the portal, then hope I can get away from this horrible place. Oh my god, I can't stop yawning. Started the portal should reopen exactly where I arrived at the center of the big monolith. That's this is it. I need to get there quickly before it closes. I really don't think it's gonna be that easy. There's no way, there's no fucking way it's gonna be that easy. 
Ugh. Damn, the fuel in the lantern ran out. I have to go on without it. Of course. I mean, to be fair, I didn't really use it anyway. Hey guys, the monster's back. Those look like eggs. Is this the plot of Alien now? I guess I outran it. For now. A lantern! I can attach it to my belt. How convenient! <laughs> Ooh, that didn't- that sounded real gross. I opened it. You sure did, buddy. Come back home. I just heard it. I just heard the creature just now. <laughs> oh no, it's gonna follow me into the land of the earth. Oh god. Oh god. My mountains, I made it. I'm- I'm finally home. <gasps> what- what happened to my cabin? I mean- you you did leave a fire going. Oh no, the fire. I'd left the fire alight. There's nothing left. Everything is destroyed. Aww. Poor guy. <gasps> Fuck! Oh, uh, I was supposed to die there, I guess. What the? What's going on? Oh, am I, am I in control? Ooh, that's spooky. Ooh, that's cool. Anyways. Oh, that looks so cool. That voice is in my head. I don't know the language, but somehow I can understand it. it. It's calling to me. I can't ignore. Uh... What if... Instead... Fuck you. Alright, I guess I have to jump off. Goodbye, cruel world. Sup, many greats, grandpa. 
He's gonna eat me, oh god. Is that it? Is that the end? Yeah, I guess that was it, guys! <laughs> Written and developed by Alessandro Guzzo. English and French translation. English script editor, English proofreading, French, German, Russian, Spanish. Illustrations by... I guess that's it! That's the end! That's the end of the game, guys! <laughs> I was kind of expecting it just to leave with, like, this poor schmuck in his burnt-down fucking cabin and he has to, like, tromp off back to his car or whatever. I wonder what the last save is, actually. Oh, it's here. I was I was hoping it was B when you were still like at your cabin. Like, what happens if you just leave and don't get caught? What if I don't want to? Like, why can't I move? Oh, okay. Yeah, I guess, uh, I guess that's the end of the game. Um, from what I remember from playing the demo of the sequel, uh, the Alien Cube, um, he, this guy, this character doesn't die. Um, I think. Uh, but I think you you play as his nephew, uh, and uh, you you go and try to figure out what the fuck happened to your uncle. Like you get a letter from him saying, "If if you have this letter, uh, I'm already dead." Rip. <laughs> um, and like you're trying to figure out what the fuck happened, and then shit happens. The game hasn't come out yet, so I don't know. Um... Let me see... This, uh... When is it supposed to come out? Early 2021. Yeah. Investigate your uncle, the protagonist of the game, The Land of Pain. Discover the truth about his past and find how these two games are connected. Well, I would figure that they're connected by the fact that they're both Lovecraftian horror and you are the nephew of the protagonist of the previous game. That would be the connection, I would say. I mean... The demo isn't very long. I could quickly play it. If you want to see it. But it's Friday, Lita. You should stay up forever. Boo. That's had in past tense. Migraines kill me for two to three days. Boo. I think I think you should eat someone. 
and then you'll feel better. You probably have a migraine because you haven't eaten anybody in a while. nothing set up for this. Game's done. So I guess I'll end the stream. Because nobody else showed up. So it's not like I have anyone else to stream for. <laughs> Night.